creamy sauce, beautifully tender beef. How do you make a better beef stroganoff? I have a few little special tricks and a few little extra ingredients up my sleeve. This is my version of beef stroganoff. So beef stroganoff, total classic, uh, but one of the things that I think often is wrong with beef stroganoff is the beef. It is tough and dry and just altogether not very nice. We're gonna fix that with our recipe today. Uh, so let's get started on that first of all. I am gonna start off by using a scotch fillet or a ribeye. You need a tender cut for this one. Uh, we're not gonna slow cook the beef, it's not a braised beef, um, so you kinda need like a good tender cut. A strip loin, sirloin would be fine. I fill it if you want to get a bit fancy. Um, but this is what I'm using today. And I'm going to do something a little bit unconventional as usual. Um, I'm going to marinate this in some soy sauce because the soy sauce is going to give us extra flavor, a little bit of tenderizing. But I am going to kind of poke some holes in my steak first of all. I want the soy sauce to be able to penetrate really quickly. So I just want to grab my steak and just sort of stab it with my knife. It's a little bit basic instinct, um, but you know what I mean. And then with the second one, and then pop those into a mixing bowl and then pour some soy sauce over the top. Now just give those guys a mix together. And then just leave them to marinate for about 10 minutes. All right, so steaks have had their time in their little soy sauce bath, um, time to get them frying in the pan. Now, a couple of things here. So we want to fry off our steaks in the same pan that we're gonna make our sauce in. And yes, this is very unusual for a beef stroganoff. We're not gonna slice the steak. We're gonna cook it whole first, slice it, and then add it into the sauce right at the very end. This is gonna keep it really juicy and really tender. It's my little trick. Um, so what you want to do is get some oil into a really hot pan and then in go your steaks. All right, so what I'm looking for here, guys, is color because color is flavor. It's that reaction that happens on the outside of meat called the Maillard reaction without getting too food nerdy. Uh, but what happens is the amino acids and the sugars and everything caramelize and that brown color is the pure flavor that we want for our sauce. And that's why I was saying we want to cook the sauce in the same pan as the steaks because we want to make use of that flavor that's happening in the pan. All right, so only one to two minutes each side here. Let's have a look. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to flip. Look at that color. Now that's what I'm talking about. That is beautiful. Now these are gonna finish cooking in the sauce, so I'm gonna take them out now before they're cooked through. Okay, so take a look in that pan. That is that flavor stuff that I was talking about. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and make our sauce. So I want some butter, a fair chunk of butter here, guys. But you know, this is like a rich, beautiful, buttery dish. And now I want to add in my mushrooms. So here's another key thing uh, with this dish. You don't want soggy mushrooms. You want those mushrooms to really get some nice color and flavor before you start adding your other things. So I like to put my mushrooms in first. I want to let them sit and sear and get a nice sort of beautiful golden color. And now if you have a look, it's like been a minute or so and you flip those over, you can see what I'm talking about. See how they're beautifully seared. Nice. So there's kind of like a theme here. We're like, we're searing, we're building color, we're building flavor. All those things are gonna make a big difference to your finished dish. Okay, so just toss those shallots through, give them a chance to get a little bit tender there. And now we're gonna go in with some beef stock. So the beef stock's going to like, sort of like deglaze the pan, lift everything up off the bottom, any of those nice little sticky, uh, you know, beefy bits. So pour that in. Now I've got lots of little extras here that make this dish really special. One is another little unconventional uh, little addition and that is some miso paste. So miso paste full of umami, savory flavors. It's gonna like boost the beefiness, if you like, of, of the dish and, and make it just, you know, extra. So let's put that in and just kind of, it'll need a bit of help dissolving into that sauce. And I also want some mustard here for a little bit of heat and some flavor. And then some sweet paprika. The paprika here is really just for a bit of color. Mm, that is looking 
so joyful okay now we are gonna lighten all of this up or heavy it up or rich it up I don't know whatever um, with some cream so just some heavy cream if you're in the US and Australia we call it thickened cream elsewhere it's called pouring cream but it's kind of like about a 34 35 percent fat cream is what you want and I like cream and not sour cream here sour cream tends to split really easily so I just go with normal cream And now guys, this is where we want to slice and add our steak, right here at the very end. So you want to kind of just slice through, I want, th these slices, uh, pieces are probably a bit too big, so I'm just going to slice through here first, and then just on an angle kind of slice myself some nice chunky slices of beef. You can see it's quite rare, that's cool, we're going to put it into the sauce right now and it's just gonna finish off its cooking really gently in that sauce. Now to thicken up the sauce, I just wanna add a little bit of corn flour that I've mixed with some water. And that is looking totally lush. Look at that creamy sauce. That beef will have just kind of cooked through. Ah, oh, so good. Now what we wanna do is simply spoon this over some really beautiful buttery noodles. Take your pick here, um, egg noodles, uh, little spirally ones that, like I've got here, ladle that over the top. Now a little sprinkling of parsley, and there you go my friends. Not your typical classic beef stroganoff, but my very best version. Uh, tender beef, uh, leveled up, creamy miso sauce. Mm, it smells so good. Wow, you know, just when you make little changes, like little but logical changes, like sear the beef instead of, you know, boiling it really fast in the sauce, or mm, you get such a great result. That beef is so super tender, and that sauce, creamy and it's actually it's beautifully seasoned even though we didn't add any extra salt because of the soy sauce and the miso and wow wow that is totally amazing yum